There is there is the kernel of a good idea here, but they did not have the talent to um maybe not even the talent, just the inclination to see it through to the end. Like, do you actually want to create a game that accurately represents the seven sins or just does it in a superficial way? And it's like, well yeah. Greed, what should I have to meet? Gold. You don't want to like represent like no the greed of I don't know power. No, no gold. Gold everywhere. I'm so fucking sick of this mechanic. I, the fact you have to mash for every fucking door in the entire game. I'm so glad this is not a mechanic anymore. What? What the fuck you got to say? You're wearing a crown. And you're wearing a crown. He's there chatting shit of like, look at these dickheads. Like, just wanting possessions. You sat there with like, how are they putting like people like that in here alongside people like, what did you want? Well, I was poor, struggling, and I had no fucking money, and they offered me money so like, you know, I could live. What? Coins of Plutus, why not? What do these do? Increases the combo window allows Dan Aker to equip. No, I don't care. The there's no combos in this game anyway, fuck them. Uh, I'm unsure about the tickets for the live event, you have to. That's, uh, I'm not running it, I'm just um, advertising it. Bad platforming. Whew. I really don't like about the ideas of like when it comes to sin of even like in this world in this game like the sin of uh, say for example just that lady who's like well someone offered me some gold and people died because I was hungry for gold but like I needed it because I had nothing else left but on the same vein as like kings and queens who just allowed their people to starve just as like they were accruing wealth and power it's like how are they even in the same realm of scenery. Like, it's not sinful to be fucking hungry. Like punishing people for being human. Yeah. Yeah. Look how slow you go. Look when you try and like smack like compare this to like Link. You do like your back dash. Oh my god. Fuck off. Fuck off! Fuck that! That's such a bad enemy design! Who thought this was a good idea? Who thought that was a good idea? Like, look at it! Completely, like. All they need to do to make that enemy type, like, you know, fine, is not make them do the invincible spin for 40 seconds. If it was just five seconds, fine. Like, they spend longer invincible than they do, like, vulnerable. And then it still knocks you, because of course it fucking does. Like, that is a horrendous enemy type gonna kill me. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> I knew that was gonna kill me. Let's do that entire bad platforming section again. Get yeah, the first day unbaptized bait. What the fuck did they do? Like you were getting punished because your parents didn't baptize you before you died of like something God should have been out to prevent. I pl please don't start spinning at the same time. So I'm I'm in stun locked. I'm being stunned locked by this enemy. I can't get up. And I, I, yeah. Now the other one's doing it. And all they need to do to make this easier is let me hit the enemy out of bounds. How is there not a mechanic to like throw these souls into like the pit of greed that's below me? Like, how is that not a mechanic? 
you know, allow them to continue their punishment. Fuck's sake. You might be thinking, can I not block that? No, because I can't activate my block while I'm on the ground, so I just get stun locked. Fuck for that. Whoo! Fuck this enemy type. Enemy that counters and dodges everything. How fun! Bible! Bible! So you're in a city town, like you're in a city centre and you'll see a guy who's like stood here and just goes like this. So like, Bible! Come on, rumour threes, rumour threes. Don't make me do this more. Bible! Also as well, like if it's this easy to like fend off the hordes of hell. Why is everyone not just, like dressed like the fucking Pope? They're just absolutely covered in crosses. I could have 100% died there because I could have landed in the gold pit that I could not see. And that could have 100% killed me there. Oh god, no, not Bob. Not more bad platforming, please. Oh, this is a really metal image as well. Like, it's a super metal image, but I just don't care because every time I move around this area, I'm just annoyed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Speaking of us annoyed going around this area. It's not a Bible raise. Now, there's a, one thing, I've got so many moves that allow me to counter all this stuff. There's no reason to use them because they don't do anything. Like, countering these enemies, it just doesn't work. No, he, he countered. He countered my, um, my grab. Absolve. Bible. Let's do it. Oh, okay, I died. And the God of War tactic just reset. Nope. Let's see how many times I'm allowed to do this. Before the game just gives me it free. Oh, okay, am I allowed to press this fucking thing now? Out of the way. Last thing. I don't even know where I should be like, aiming this shit. Is that fine? Is that going to work? Is it, should I turn it all the way around? No, I've got to turn it all the way around and hit these pillars, I suppose. So let's keep going. That'll do. Right, go! Go! Yay! Let's get to platforming. That's so fucking scary as well. That you can jump off screen while the game's like not even telling it and die. Because you're landing like the pit. Yeah, you can't play this game too fast. Last thing, uh, you can't cancel pretty much any animation. Like, you can cancel with a jump, but you can't cancel moves into other moves. So, for example, like a Devil May Cry game, I've got a basic combo here. And in a Devil May Cry game, you can cancel that basic combo into anything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this combo, and then I'm going to press B. So, so you got one, two, three, the spin. And you see there, look, Dante at the end. You have to completely finish the entire animation before you like do anything. Except for jump. Jump lets you cancel out of fucking anything. The problem is, you jump... Look at how far Dante can jump in one go. Ugh. Ugh. It's so slow. 
So I can go, uh, uh, uh. Well then, the jump is like instant, but everything you do after your jump is not. So if I could jump and try and mash X. Look how long it takes Dante to do anything. And when you land, you've got like a full second of him just stood there. We can't do anything. So, like, you can clearly tell, like, there's so many moves in this game that revolve around, like, doing combos in the air. But they're, like, set to be just a specific height. Like, this move, you can do it in the air. But it always does it at a specific height. So you will never be able to, like, fluidly do it in a combo against an enemy. Meaning that there's no reason to ever use it. It's like if you ever played uh, The Force Unleashed. And the game gives you ostensibly so many cool things you can do in that game with combos and stuff. But because the game's own physics don't really play into the combos they gave you, you find yourself just doing the same three hits over and over again. Because you have like the ability to launch enemies, but you'll never do it because there's no point. You launch them, but all you can ever do when you launch them is the same three hit combo in the air. Like There's no like way to approach combat in a way that feels more akin to what you'd play like. Which is what character action games are supposed to be. Like, they're supposed to like, encourage creative play. Like creative use of the systems that you're afforded. But there's just none of that in this. You'll notice like, for the most part, the absolute best thing I can do in every scenario is just Bible mode. Like just Bible mode is the strongest thing in the entire game because it hits every enemy and it just has this massive wide area effect and I can just cancel it. Now your attacks get you punished near enough every single time. You get punished for using half of your moveset. It's awful. Also the dodge is awful as well because like in most other character action games you dodge. One of the reasons you have a dodge is so you can dodge and then go straight into an attack. Like, Say I'm like doing my slash here, <gasps> about to get hit. I dodge. So what you think here, Devil May Cry, you do that, you dodge, and then you continue your offense. Look at how long it takes me to continue my offense after a dodge. It is awful. Like, I should be able, like, your dodge cancels everything, you should be able to cancel your dodge with attacks. To make combos. I think the only way I've found to consistently like cancel anything in this game is just using the block. So I'm going to try and just like do some block cancel combos. Let's go. Boop. Am I allowed to move? No, sir. Loading screen. Yeah, the camera's also really bad. Now, this game should have stayed that anime. Like, you can see an anime around this. Speaking of which, like, what the fuck you got to say about this? Is the god of wealth hinder your passage? Whatever power the accursed wolf may have. Fuck off. Like, I hate this guy now. Let's turn the volume up a bit, because I'm not sure you guys can hear him. I'm going to power up. A deadly focus attack for massive damage. I bet it does nothing. Pressing A during a soul stab. So, I've got a high time. I've been given access to the high time. So let's try that. That's so slow. Oh, that's so slow. So I have to like to do like my launch. I have to go all the way into and that's the thing of the difference between a hack and slash game and a character action game, where a hack and slash game is like near entirely it's all visual, but there's no like it's all it's style over substance. Whereas in a Devil May Cry game, or like, you know, a game is ill, I'll be able to do that whenever I want. And you can see that misses, of course it misses, because I bet every enemy in this arena dies before I can finish this fucking combo. 
Yeah. So there's no reason to ever use it because every enemy is going to die before I finish it off. And of course they all miss, look, they all dodge the final hit. So even base enemies get killed by, like, dodge this, look. Let's go. <laughs> so I'm going to try and land this move. Let's try and land it. I've... This enemy here, let's go. No, it's dead already. And we'll land and get killed, so let's... Wait, maybe this enemy here, look. Let's go. Maybe we can hit this one. Nope. And this is what I mean, like, style over substance of. They put the move in. But they had no thought for what the actual move it follows up from does to the enemy. Which is, launch it so far away that you will... Look at that, it launches the enemy on with the final hit lock. So you want to do it. Look, the enemy gets launched away. So it misses every time. Let's go, come on. Oh, we got it! So the only way to do it is to hit another enemy that's not the enemy you're aiming for for it. Come on. Yep. So that move misses every single time unless I kill one enemy with the first part and aim for a second enemy with the second part. Look, the final hit every time consistently pushes the enemy far away so that move can't work. Like fundamentally that move does not work. Now, isn't that amazing? Like, think about that. Like, there is a move that I've just been given that literally does not work. Can anyone out there think of a video game that does that? Like, let's go look. We can see here, look. The Diabolical Hammer. So, Soul Crusher. Soul Shatter. So, join Soul Stabber. Launch enemies into the air. Can anyone now think of a game where they give you access to a move that does not work? And you, have to, can, you can't cancel into it early. You have to finish that entire combo before you are able to do the Soul Shatter. And the final hit of Soul Stabber pushes them so far away, it will always miss. That is fucking hilarious. Meaning, that entire move is useless. I'd rather not. Well, they probably playtested it, but they probably just went through the entire game doing this. Smash B. So what's the game actually asking me to do here? Because it gave me access to this. I can't move it. I can't hit it. It's not reacting with anything I do. Like maybe go over here and climb. Like I can see it wants me to do something. Nope. I just take damage from going there. Maybe not. Hmm. Now it clearly wants me to do something with this thing. So there was a big fanfare for it, but I'm getting no. It seems like it's something I should be able to move. Dante doesn't seem to want to move it at all, look. So I can see over there that there's like a box it wants me to climb. Do I have to like hit this guy? So it seems to want to push it over here, look. Because you can see, I'm not sure I'm going to first person mode or anything like that, but you can see. There's like a climbable wall up there, so he wants me to move this here, but he appears to not let me move it because he's got his eyes... Oh, fuck's sake. I move it out of his field of view. And it shatters when it's not in his view. God. Really? Oh, God, I hate platforming so much in this video game. Go. 
fast. Go fast, come on. Okay, we'll put your jump up there. Got it. Like, I have encountered some bad platforming in my time, but Dante's Inferno is taking the fucking biscuit. They jump onto his foot there. So fucking shit. Let's go. It can't be that one because I won't be able to jump off the edge of that one, so it must be the next one. And let's go. Go fast, go fast, go fast, go fast. I need like one of the taller ones to be there where the gold is, so. Ah, I see, so I need to go all the way around and get those two there. That's where it needs to be. Let's go, come on. Go fast. So my, my thumb rolled across the uh, the dodge button, which made Dante just immediately jump off the edge. As you do. Here's another pro tip you make in a game like this, of make your dodge button not go off the fucking edge of the level. Just a pro strat of like, maybe not have your dodge button kill the main character every time, without fail. The appeal is the game has tits in it. It's that simple. The game has breasts. And there are breasts in the game. So what I was trying to say there is, can anyone tell where I'm supposed to go next? I... Oh. I was trying to turn the camera around to show you, because it's you know, like, you know, you play modern video games, you can turn the camera around with, like, the right stick. I'm doing that, and Dante is just jumping off the edge and killing himself. Because I'm so used to playing better games that actually let you control the camera. Go fast, go fast, go fast, go fast. That is such an awkward jump. Fuck. <laughs> this game is getting... And this is the best bit as well. They're clearly, like, getting to the point where, like, yeah. This is the point of the game where you're in, you're all in, so fuck it. If they took out every platforming and puzzle section in this game, it'd be way better. Why? Why do I have to do that for every door? Oh, for fuck's sake. Just, like, the moment I go to another room, is that, was it, more bad platforming? Whoop. Go, Dante, go. What the fuck you got? To, like, what? what? The fuck you got? The wheel of fortune. He who made the heavens named a guide who transfers vain goods from one blood to another. Shut up. God, no. That jump is so terrifying. Come on. Jump. 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, at least I'm in good boy mode. I can Bible it up. So, I'm going to show how bad this enemy type is here. I'm going to try 
I'm going to try and hit this enemy with my combo that I just learned. Oh, wait, here we go. This lady jumped in, got hit. Nope. And I try. So I want to try and hit one enemy with the full combo. Is it possible to hit an enemy with this full combo in this game? Nope, dead. This big fat dude. Okay, we can hit the fat dudes. Mm, mm, the rays. The power. The power of Jesus. Oh no. There's also as well, they've started giving enemies from the lust area. It means that. Their own enemy design is now betraying their own creative decisions. Why? Why are these enemies in the game? Why are they here? Why are the enemies from the Lust region in the Greed region? Are you saying that these ladies are like greedy for dick? Is that their crime? Was their crime being greedy for peanuts? I'm not sure what the message is here. Never lust for gold, but they still look exactly like they did in the lust region. Okay. More bad platforming. <laughs> that was so fast. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this this is incredible. Okay, this is mate. This is amazing now. <laughs> it's so fast. Like there's like one second of timing. Like if you don't dodge through it instantly, what was that? Okay, so what was there is, I was trying to jump off the edge early, but there is an invisible wall in front of the edge. So you have to stand underneath where the giant smasher is. The same smasher that gives you like one second of like prep time to avoid being killed. That was a, that's amazing. Yeah, I love taking like six seconds to open a door. Who doesn't love like taking like that much time to open a door? Down we go. And that's the thing, like in the previous play session, at least I got to talk about like the areas and their design because they were fun. Like, you know, the designs were fun. This is just frustrating. And it really feels like they got to a point where they're like, we haven't got enough enemies to make the combat interesting anymore. Fuck it, just had it out of this shit. So, are we absolving? We are, we're in good boy mode. So, hey lady, you get to survive. One time wife of Mark Antony, possessed by an unbearable greed. Called the greediest woman in all of Rome, she pursued any opportunity to seize power. Well, she was a woman in ancient Rome. And a wife. Oh, her, her husband left her for Cleopatra. So, I don't think she was the greediest woman, but... Hey! Your pursuit of power, you are forgiven. Now he's going to play some, like, you know, uh, Guitar Hero. He's going to play some Holy Guitar Hero. Like, it's not Dragon Force, but no, I'll give it, give it a, a pass. Like, imagine, imagine if like the fucking souls came down. So I'm like, fuck yeah. I'll, I would save everybody at that point. Look at that, I'm capturing all these ladies' sins. 
Bonus Souls. Now, there'll be no Guitar Hero stream. We can't get away with um, streaming Guitar Hero. But we do have Rock Band at the office now for the live event that's coming up. Details of which can be found in the Discord. Both the Fact Fiend one and the Untitled Side Channel one. Woo! Now, this is something as well you'll notice in a lot of games from this era, which is they front load all of the action. Of like the game has all the action as set pieces in the first like two hours of gameplay. And I call that like game journalist mode. So that like strong um, uh, suspicion that uh, a lot of games journalists never played these games to the end. They played the first couple of hours and judged it based on that because. You get to this point, and it's like, well, no one's going to play past this point with reviewing it. Go from crazy Bible mode. Bible combos! Bible! Mine now. Oh, yeah, I love this animation. This is my favourite animation. Right, I'm Commander Shepard, this is my favourite animation in Dark Days in Whoa! Who's this chuckle fuck? No! Rawr. 